next morning, <laughs> yesterday night, like after the show ended, I know I'm wearing a scarf because I'm still on my natural. Picking up just weaving my natural hair, like you know those cute natural hair weaving that they do, just weave it and just carry it for like some time because I realized that my front hair, I don't know, maybe it's because of the comb I use. Yeah, we're not supposed to use tiny combs for our hair. Let me be use there's a a very strong brush to apply gel. So I have like small. So I think I should just use my natural hair. Just carry for some time. And all that. Because I'm supposed to start the, like a new job. So meanwhile, so and, um yesterday after the whole event and everything because of it was late. I didn't dress completely. I did my face at home. Wore my jumpsuit. I couldn't even show you guys what I was wearing. I wore my jumpsuit, everything. But I didn't wear the like the cam the um, kimono on top. I kept it in the car. So that I was gonna wear when I get there. My sons are said I was gonna wear when I get there. So many I'm gonna wear when I get there and everything. When we got there, I was using the light. The light was not even so clear. The light was not so bright. It's like the light in your car is not even that bright enough for you to do anything. I just put it on and I was using it. Then I forgot to turn it off. When I was inside, there's something that happens to me, like my instincts have you tell me things. So, I went, I was inside, my mom was like, Tucha, are you sure you turned off that light? And I said, yes, I did. There's no way I won't turn it off, because I'm so OCD, so I remember, I, checked, I checked things over and over again. But for a reason, for some reason, I didn't check this one. I thought it was off, I just felt like, well, I told myself it was off. But when I was sitting down, I was like, I don't, that, that light is on. Long story short, I came back after the whole event, like three hours or so inside. I came outside, my light was on and the first thing, usually when you forget to turn off your light in your car, the first thing you need to do when you get to the car is turn on the engine to see if the battery has run out or everything has like just dull your battery or whatever. So that's exactly what happened. My battery had, my battery couldn't put the car back, like the car could not come back and I almost died. It was like total up. I was like, what? Touch it. What here are you want to do this thing? And it's fine. I felt at some point, I felt like somebody tried to jimmy my lock. And maybe the person struggled to open like not open or something, then the alarm tire ring, maybe that's why the light is on. So it office was right. And at that point I was losing her mind because I don't go out of the house so much. I don't go out of the house like late in the night. Highest time I come back from is six, seven. Latest I can come back to the house is eight. Or latest I can leave the house from just to go and get her in the middle of the night. But I never like go for events like because of the time because I can't see at night. So Edna was just so worried and she kept calling me and calling me and calling me. We have to now beg a mechanic guy to help us. Sorry, the you guys. So, um, uh -huh. but I the place from as Vivian says, see, no matter how many times, okay, my hand is not even really showing how black. You see the settings of the camera, my hand is black, sure. From the suit in Porta Cod, it's turning to another thing, like it's not a way of life. We're not so used to having this suit all over the place, it is crazy. Meanwhile, my camera is falling apart. Falling apart, like why? Why are it's falling apart? My camera is falling apart, like the the um. Uh, see, oh my God, the worst that happened to me right now is so my camera to stop working. Where have I been? Meanwhile, let me talk. Let's talk. So where have I been? I don't know. I've not had. I've not. I've not posted any vlogs in like if, in a while. And <laughs> I'm gonna actually run like that. <laughs> I've not put on any vlog in a while. What's the problem? How much is it? Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I look like one wiggy like that I did out of video. But it's because I don't feel like wearing a wig. So I think if you've been watching my channel for maybe the past two years that I've been on YouTube, you would know this vlog that I'm talking about. Although I'm gonna link it up for you guys. Hope you're gonna check it out. Um, it was like one of my first first vlogs so. when I just started posting on YouTube. <laughs> Man, you see how holding, how sometimes tradition can ruin things for you. I always like to hold the strap on the camera, and I try to do it on the camera most of the time. Can you guys see how I'm being weird? So um, yeah, only to take a check. Oh my God! Oh, what is this? My battery is low. I'm gonna have to use my phone to vlog the rest of this, but I'm gonna link that vlog for you guys. Obviously, I'm gonna check it out. Um, yeah. 
So we're going for the person that birthday baby they want to watch now. We're going for the baby that um, they're staying near Edna. Edna is already in a friend's house. And me, I'm going to meet her up. But I want to use the opportunity to drop her to Vivian's. Go, 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 For her, um, that we took on Monday for the meeting. Who is bringing down the rest of the cooler? You push worry about beg. I don't want to sleep here. So that's what we're going to now. I'm driving alone. I'll meet Edna at, at the Vivian's house. So look at what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this gown that I bought when I went to the abroad. <laughs> but because of the gown, is somehow short. I decided to wear this my kimono. My kimono. Um, yeah. I'll pretty much see you guys when we get to the venue of the in-house shindy. You guys look at the road. With the, they finished fixing it down to the end. Oh, sorry for this. It's only in Nigeria that you see this kind of park or road. But this is what the road now looks like. Was, I'm going to insert the before. Do you know that all across that side they've not done everything? Yeah. So this is what the road looks like. Wait, this is not. We are going towards another direction though, not like the place that we usually pass. Uh, the road is now all queue. I think they opened it like yesterday afternoon. So you ready to get oh, again? Those that those people can go there. I mean let's not even go to that place. So let me insert the before and after for you. I'm going to show you guys what it looked like. Did you take before? Yes, and I filmed it when they recently yeah. closed it. They did all those things for them. This place didn't have all these drainages before. I think drainage, without drainage on the road is like horrible. It's really horrible because see, I think on the block again. Whatever. So I came to show you the road. This is what the road looks like right now. I'm going to insert the before and after. I'm going to frame it for you people. I'm going to put the before on top, then the after on that. It's cute, nice, nah, better. At least if my tire bought, I'm not going to blame it on this road. Might as well blame it on something else. But they did it halfway there. Still working in another place. Hey guys. Oh, also focus. Okay, okay. So, we just came back from Me and Junior, we've been good around. So, we just came back from Okija. Okija is one part of Okako where you can buy building materials and so many other stuff. So, now we came to one place here, the middle blocks, but that is not why I put on this camera. I want to show you guys one river like that that is close to where we stay. It's called the bridge. bridge bus. Some people call it bridge bus stuff. Well, I don't know, nobody push me inside the water, I don't have to swim. Oh my god! Uh, the river. One thing I don't have to do in my life is swim. How few walk out go near that place without falling inside? It's not moving anymore. See, don't mind what I'm doing here. I'm not a brave person like that. Though. Let's not turn to quicksand. What if my motor just comes out of this water right now? So this is what the river looks like. It's supposed to be higher than this. Oh my god, I'm so creeper. So this is like... Look at there's a canoe there. So this river like there's like this river crosses from here to um Woji. <laughs> Someone said I'm going to I'm so afraid I don't go to quicksand very soon. So this river goes from here to um bridge bus stop on Abar Road. This part I'm looking at it from now is old Abar Road. Then from here it goes into Woji. I knew somebody that died inside this room one time from swimming. It's right, it's so filthy. So, so there's somebody. I don't know if you call me madam. See, madam, you go pay. So that's what it looks like. From this, this river connects to like the hem. That Okisha side we went to, to, there's water there too. There are a lot of places that this water connects to. But it's part of the part that we came to, where they move blocks, somewhere close to where we stay. So they move blocks here. How did I get to this place? Okay. Let me move up by 14 toes to quicksand. So, <laughs> the mold blocks here, um, the small ones and the big ones. Ooh, look at this one, it's so wide. It's still very wet now. So, that's why it's like, when it gets there, it's going to look like the one that is in my head, like this. When it, when it, when it cools down, when it's cold or dries up, that's when it's looking like this. Just not finish. No, I the video. <laughs> That's so hilarious. This is take my motor down. Oh, come 
Eh? No, nah, Gracie. Okay, my senior stick at Linda, she came to work on meet and break. Autofocus can hit me. Okay, speaking as Linda, I said, let me clean this thing. So she's at work, they are doing one small project, so she's supervising. Today is Monday, tomorrow is. So a lot of people have been saying, you guys are so amazing. You sent me a message to ask me, what's up, why have you not been posting? You guys, life has happened to me, like, sometimes things are so hectic. Like, it gets really busy. Like, I do a lot of different things. And I don't get to have the time to vlog. Even when I have vlogs, they are like in my phone. Like on the my hard drive, from memory card I to the hard drive. The process of transferring from my phone, from the laptop to my phone to start editing. It's just excess. So those that times I used to do it in the night, when I just used to relax myself and just sleep. So that's why I've been so busy doing so many different things off camera. I've actually been doing, living, like doing other stuff like work. Because YouTube is not even like my job for me right now. It's just a hobby for now. For now, it's just a hobby. So you guys are so amazing for checking on me and asking me, what's up, what have you not posted in a while? It's just because of so many life has happened to me. That's all I have to say. So right now, let me even so just give you gist of what has happened just this two I've done this morning. Woke up this morning, to me and Junior went to Okija. I already told you guys before we were at the place buying blocks. Went to Okija. Junior went to buy so many stuff that he needs to do some electrical work. Who pushed the tree down? Okay, it was from the back. Sorry. So, we went there, stayed almost two hours there. Then came back. I went to that place where I showed you guys that river. So, now I'm here. I came to drop something for Aunt Linda. I came to try to you guys. I now do supplies. I supply drinks. So, if you have an event and you need somebody to supply drinks for you, see your girl. Yeah, she be the girl to do it. Uncle, you, uncle pick me to do it for you. You grow my hair. This is the best thing to do right now because summer in Nigeria is punishment. Summer in Nigeria is like, oh, it's going to be so hot. It's going to be so too hot. So I don't want to even bother myself with fixing up my hair or breathing. I just want to go with this hair for now. And like I said before, I think some of my hair caught hair when I did that Ghana weaving. So I just want my hair to breathe for now. So we came to drop water for in the hair because of it's water that she wants to help me. Like the water I sell, she what what I know that she's gonna help me sell them in school here tomorrow. So we came to drop it since today is Monday and there's like instead of me having to come here first thing tomorrow morning, I just came to drop it here for her so tomorrow they'll have it to sell to the people. That's why we're here. But apart from that they're doing some other work. She's not supposed to she's be in the house sleeping but they're doing some other work at the back. So that's why she's here to like open the door and supervise and all that. It's not been easy. Her work is not even easy. So that's right now we live here. We're going to I'm gonna go to the fuel station kind to get for for the car. And I need to actually go and get my oil. The person that I buy oil from, Jane, when I went to get my soap there the other day, I couldn't buy the soap because I bought just the soap. I had money for just the soap. Now my oil is finished. I need to go back again to go and buy oil. That's just the challenge right now. Ignore the way I'm doing, man. I'm so tired. So I have to go back right now to buy oil. And the place is far, far away in Rupok. When I told my friend about where I buy my soap, I was like, are you mad person? Why are you going to travel all the way from here to that place to go and buy oil? I'm like, that's just how I see it. That's just me. When I'm used to do, using a particular thing, I make sure I dedicate my energy, my life, and my time into buying or going to the place and all that. And lucky for me, I can I have a car that I can drive to the place. That's why I actually do take the time to do that. So I'm going to see if I can do daily vlogging. I'm going to try and vlog. But I realized something like when I was vlogging daily, I, that was when I even got to my first 100 subscribers. When I was vlogging every single day, when somebody left me a comment and I was like, maybe I'm not doing this vlogging thing right by posting every day, then I stopped. My advice to anybody doing anything there, as long as that thing you're doing it makes you very happy, continue doing it. Don't allow anybody to come and tell you, make you feel like you're doing the wrong thing. Because when I was doing daily vlogging, it was fun for me, posting those videos every day. And I was even, I could see the difference with my subscribers and was increasing and everything. So whatever it is you're doing, don't allow anybody to stop. Don't let anybody come and send you one mean email that make you feel like, oh, you're doing something bad. I've been talking for five minutes. I think I'll see you guys later on. Bye. I'm trying to, okay. Yes, the light is now on. You guys, so we are living here right now. I still have errands to run. I go back to the house. I'm so tired. But I want to show you guys something. Like last, I think I showed you guys in the vlog that the road that they were fixing, that is scattered and everything, that I made BK, you know, pay for the for them to fix the road they had 
start with like put the coat on top of it. Oh, I suppose you call it corota. But coat they've already called the put the coat on top of it. Now they put the coat on. We said, oh good, amazing. Oh my god, no more parking on the road at trekking and many miles to come to this school. We spoke too soon. We spoke way too soon. We just got here now today's Monday. And the road they've closed it up again. I think they want to put the second layer of the coat on it or more like i think they want to because if you guys noticed in that video i'm going to start the video right now we walked it down like we didn't walk to the end of the road that road is so far that road is so far so we didn't walk to the end of the road we stopped halfway but we didn't even get to the place where they stopped so now they, i think they want to fix the road inside and go down to the end of the road and not come out at room because governor wiki is really trying to an extension he's trying he's really doing an amazing job with the whole road thing because i think road is so important so that's why some people have to vote for him for second tenure because I don't think it's about our vote. Is it about our vote? Do our vote back out? Okay. I'm so tired. When I'm tired, my eyes just have to close like this. We shall see your lucky lolly. They've closed the road again. No, they've opened it. They've opened it. No, it's still closed. So look what I'm trying to say. Like there's a difference between here and here. I mean, they want to pour the second. It's so hot. So this is the they want to pour another layer of the coat on it. So that's why they close. No, that's the name. That's why they close the room. You have the name of the top of the shoe. You have the name of the top of the shoe. So yeah, that place is hot. Just move away. So the, that's different. They want to pour another extra layer. I think. Look at where we are. I want to do not because. Uh, I didn't pay you like So, the people that did this road is the same people that did our road. And this thing. I think they are in charge of all this stuff. Look at the drainage that they did. So, so they didn't it. really dig that one. They didn't really dug there, but they didn't dig there. They, oh, they poured the body dug oh, rapidly, they poured it here. So, it's Andy's that is doing this road for you. Where is the light? No, like. Yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Junior said, they think I remember this biscuit. Nice biscuit. I used to do it alone when I was in jest. Yeah, my friends. Oh my god. So it's nice. For men be lucky, remember this nice biscuit. Nice. So you need to slow down. This one can speed up now.